Hey, it's Chris here from Easel. Welcome to another DIY design tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through how to create a collage style design using some cool Easel features like the Remove Background Tool and Shape Mask. Let's get started. So let's get started. First of all, it's really important to choose the right images that will work with this style of design. When choosing your images, there are a few key points to keep in mind. Number one, you want to select images with a similar colour tone, like these ones I've selected. They all share a blue or orange tone. Two, your images need to have a clear area for the background to be removed, like this sky, and a solid area along the base of the image so the shape of the shape mask can be seen. Landscape images like these are perfect. Number three is to choose a focus image like this portrait. Choose a few scenes or landscapes and some solid textures too, still making sure they all share a similar tone. When you've chosen your images, we need to get them into Easel. So if you go to the My Images tab up here, go to Upload and then Upload and select your images. In this case, they're on my desktop, so selecting them and we just wait for them to load in. So now they're all loaded in, we'll hide that. And then to background remove it, the ones that we want the background removed, like in this case, we want that landscape. We'll just click this little black arrow and we'll go remove background. Click on remove background. And you can see that's done with the little checkerboard pattern in the background and it also keeps your original image as well. So we'll do this to the other images that we want the background removed. So now all these images have their background removed and we're keeping our textured images solid. We'll go uh, and create a design. So click on create a design from the top up here. And in this case, we're gonna create a story. So we'll go to stories and then we'll just scroll down. So we see the create from blank here on the left-hand side. So let's click create from blank and that's gonna open up a new canvas in our editor. So now what we wanna do is start composing the design and putting these images that we've just background removed into their shape mask. So we'll go to the graphics tab on this right hand side and click shape masks. So I'm going to scroll down. Um, I mean, there's a heap to choose from here, but I'm going to scroll down to this organic blobby shape. So I'll click on that. And because I'm going to use this for my focus image, I'm just going to enlarge it slightly and put it in the center of my canvas. And then I'll go back up to images and you'll see here all those images that we just removed the backgrounds, they've all preloaded into the images area and as well as the images that don't have their backgrounds removed. So we're gonna drag this focus image, the portrait, across to our shape mask and just hover over the shape mask until it drops into place. And then we can enlarge that. And you can actually play around with cropping inside that shape mask as well if you just double click on it and then you can enlarge it and position that image within that shape mask. So we'll just go crop. And then what we wanna do is duplicate. So we'll go up to this top action bar and click duplicate. That's gonna create another shape mask with my image in it. And then what I can do is I can start just dropping these images straight in. So I'll just duplicate that again. Put this desert scene in there. Duplicate that again. Put this water texture, I'll make that a little bit smaller. I'll duplicate that water texture and put my gold in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these landscape images as background. So I'm gonna play around with the layering. So I'll click that mountain landscape and I'll just use this position tool up here and I'll send it to the back. So that's gonna drop it behind my focus image. So I wanna put these landscapey ones um, behind the focus image. So I'll go back up to position and I'll press send to back, or I can actually send this mountain one to the back as well. And then I'll put this image over here. And what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this and I'll start kind of putting my design together using these shapes. So what's another really good tip is that I can select this mask and then play around with the opacity of it. So I'll just drop this one down to here just to get another sort of sense of layering. 
And then what I might do is I might just enlarge that mountainscape in the, in the background as well. And then what I want to do is put a, another organic shape in there, but I don't want it to be filled with anything. I'm just going to use a solid. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my graphics tab on the right hand side and search for something like blob. There's a heap of elements that come up, but I'll scroll down until I can find one that I kind of want to use. So this one's perfect here. So I'll click on that and I'll position it again using the position tool. So I'll send it, I can send it backwards or I can send it to back. So I'll send it to back and just rotate it slightly until it sort of is where I want it to be. And now to keep all these tones in harmony, a really good trick is to, I want to change this blue shape. So I'll go up to my color palette at the top and then I'll select the color that's from my images that I put on. So I'll select this dark aqua sort of color, which is really cool. And then from here as well, I also want to select a background color. So maybe this peachy tone and you can see these images will really start to pop. And because I'm using all the same tones, it's still staying in harmony. So now what I want to do is I've sort of got the composition of my design going. I want to start adding some text to it. So this is super easy. All I have to do is go up to my text tab up here and I'll just click on add new text. Let's make this move this box down here. And because I'm doing a Q and A announcement post, I want to type in Q and a and then I'll go up to my fonts at the top and I'll just choose one of my favorites and let's just make this a little bit bigger so let's go to something like 250 and the black looks good but I want to change it to white so I'll go back up to my color selection up here and I'll go down to color picker and I'll just change that to white so let's do the same with date and time as well. So click on a new text box. Let's make it Saturday 12th of December at 6 p.m. Let's stretch that out and I'll do the same thing. I want to make that white as well. So I'll go up to my color picker and let's select white. And now I can just tidy that up. So just shift that up slightly. Another really good trick is just to tidy everything up and sort of bring it all together is if I want to enlarge all the elements together, I can just drag over all of the elements at once and just fit them nicely in the design. So the composition is really nice. We've got the date and time, we've got our title and then all I need to do is add a Facebook Live logo. So I go into my graphics tab up here, let's search for something like Live and we'll get the Facebook Live um, logos here. I'll just click on this one. There you go and let's position that nicely. And there we're done. You know, this is a really good way to make a really cool collage type organic design using um, some really cool easel features with the backgrounds removed. So that's how we create a collage style design using some cool easel features like the background remove tool and shape mask. Check out our other YouTube videos for design hacks. Drop any questions in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks heaps for watching.